Well, it, it started for me in 2007 with the game Remission, and, and that game was randomized clinically trialed. It's a game for children with cancer, and children who play this game recovered faster from their disease than children who didn't play. So I thought, how, how, come? how is that possible? Yeah. <laughs> well, they create efficacy, as they call it. So they know it's important to take your drugs every day on a certain time. Uh -huh. So the children who play the game had higher amounts of uh, chemo in their blood than children who didn't play. So that, that's where it started for me. And then I thought, wow, is, if this possible, if you basically can save lives or uh, make people uh, better with games, why not uh, make more mm -hmm. of those games? Yeah. So that's, that's how it began. Uh, geriatrics, which is one of the games that's uh, been developed from our own university hospital. What does it do? Uh, what it does is that picture um, doctors that come from med school yeah. and they are trained on anatomy, on every kind of disease you can imagine, but nobody talked ever about money. And here they are, ready to be a doctor, and suddenly everything also runs through money. So you have to have a clear perspective on what the impact, for instance, in costs of an, an MRI or a certain procedure is. Mm -hmm. And doing this by a serious game brings to the table for them, much earlier than they will encounter that in real life, these kind of specific questions. And in the end of the day, they should know what procedures cost to make a, a good balanced decision. Well, I'm really excited about some of the things I'm seeing that are going on with our Kinect technology. Um, researchers and developers and game companies around the world are beginning to see healthcare as an important sector. Uh, I've been working with some companies that are doing interesting things. For example, uh, one company focuses on helping surgeons or people who are working in the hospital and their hands aren't available or they're they're, they're uh, scrubbed into surgery uh, using the Kinect device to give them access to information on a screen like MRI or CT scans or other information about the patient as they operate without having to touch anything. That's important. Uh, another company I've been working with is doing some really good work with physical medicine and rehabilitation where the physiatrist can basically prescribe uh, their physical therapy, but then they can go home with a Kinect device and a, and a Windows interface and they can actually do their physical therapy at home and it can be monitored by the physical therapist remotely and they can make continually adjust the program to make it you know, just right for the patient. Mm -hmm. That's real exciting. Uh, thicker running, for instance, I don't know if you know this. Yep. Uh, so well, you, you can be creative and, uh, and uh, effective at the same time. Well, for instance, we, we, did a, we did a game of our own in which we uh, designed dresses for girls and they were need they were sewed with very um, bad uh, stitches so they burst open at the moment when you start uh, start uh, moving and you can do dances with that and so there are many of these let's say um, uh, innovative games that that make fun and and uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, effect uh, effectness uh, uh, very close together well there's there's one example that i like uh, uh, I don't know what the name is. It's built by a company in Leeuwarden. And it's for people who need to operate within the belly of a patient. Yeah. Uh, and they, they use these, uh, these, uh, yeah, these things. <laughs> scissors? <laughs> no, it's not scissors. It's, it's that you go into the, to, into the belly and oh, then so you it's operate. A, it's, a, it's a remote control to, to be inside. Yeah. Yeah. And they, need to, and they need to experiment with this and what uh, they did is they turned it into um, uh, a Wii game so that you can play on the Wii and I really like the designs of it and I like the thought behind it because uh, they said if you can play it on the Wii uh, then we can also send it to countries where there's less money mm -hmm. and they still have a simulation game where they can be better uh, doctors. Uh -huh. Actually, I, I think the best application of using gaming and self-involvement, there, there are several, several games that are out there um, um, that engage the person in setting goals and so on. Mm -hmm. um, but if you take a look at Weight Watchers, the Weight Watchers program, and how they encourage you to monitor both your intake of food and uh, allow you to eat more <laughs> if you exercise more. 
to me, while that is not strictly a game, it, it has personal involvement in it and the sense of responsibility and the desire to increase uh, the performance all built into one unit. And uh, I've often thought that of the, uh, the well-being games that, uh, or well-being activities that Weight Watchers really is doing it right. And I think uh, uh, gaming uh, should be, uh, we should start small, small solution. And one of those solutions is, is here, is, is the pillow project. Mm -hmm. well, you've yeah. probably seen it, yeah. uh, where you press on a pillow to start a game. I really believe in those kind of solutions because they're simple. And, uh, and you can start from that and build from that. Uh, um, because uh, the problem is so big if you start uh, if you want to create big solutions, it takes a lot of time, a lot of money, yeah. and uh, you don't get started. I, I think that uh, we'll continue to see better and better uh, uh, games and, and better and the more original ideas, but one, one of the most obvious ones is, is, is uh, uh, the uh, obesitas games, where uh, we want to try and prevent people from getting too uh, fat. There are so many great ideas and already so many great games that sort of help people get the exercise they normally wouldn't want to do on a, on a daily basis. So it's a, a, I think that's, it, it, it makes so much sense. Put it into a game and people will participate in exercise. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazingly simple yeah. and effective.